Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I review many products on this channel, a range of camera equipment, audio equipment, accessories, uh, photographic equipment and what have you. Um, today we're taking a look at the Sony Zeiss 16-70 to uh, F4 lens designed for the Sony E-mount APS-C body cameras. And that's uh, a whole range of cameras from the old NEX range, uh, the A6000, 6300, 6500, so on and so forth. Um, I'm using it today with my Sony A6500, which I absolutely adore. I love this camera. Um, I've got it actually mounted in a small rig cage because uh, I use many accessories on it and it's really, really good. And the results this camera produces, as um, everyone who's got one or ever used one, know it, they are excellent. Although I predominantly use it for video as opposed to stills. Um, now the lens is very compact. It's very light, it's not, not particularly heavy, and it doesn't take up a lot of room in your camera bag. Um, it's got a range, I say, of 16 to 70 on the APS-C bodies. So let's mount it on my A6500. There we go. In video is what I use it predominantly for. Very, very pleased with the video results. Also focus, it's quick, it's snappy. Um, very, very nice indeed. Um, you probably won't be able to see that, but um, yeah, fantastic range there for your filming. Very, very pleasant range. Very pleased with that. Um, it's a, a very, very nice lens. It comes with a lens hood. And the other good thing with it, in video, the lens doesn't hunt, which you wouldn't expect it to. It's a Sony Zeiss lens designed for these particular bodies. Um, but in video, it nails the focus all the time. And I use it for video for the vast majority of the time. It just nails it. Very, very pleased with that. Um, unlike my Sigma Art lenses, because I have to mount them via uh, the MC11 adapter. It, the focus does hunt when you're using it in uh, video. Uh, for stills are fine, but not in video. Um, this lens doesn't hunt, it, it nails it really good. The stills that come out of it are very, very pleasant. They're really, really good images. Um, again, they take full use of the, um, I mean, it's 24 megapixel on the A6500 and this lens takes full use of that APS-C uh, sensor. So, um, yeah, great lens. Build quality is excellent. Again, what you would expect from a Zeiss lens, really, to be honest, you know. And it isn't particularly expensive. You know, it's a really good value lens. Um, metal construction, well, um, I think the body's metal, but the, the mount certainly is. Um, really, really nice construction lens. Yeah, delighted with that. Um, and works, I say, really well on all the Sony bodies, uh, particularly the APS-C bodies, which is what it's designed for. The manual focus ring is really nice. Um, it's, it's not that far from the zoom ring. It's quite close to it, but it's smooth and it's responsive. Uh, so if you're doing manual focusing with video um, or with photos, you wouldn't really have any issue with using that uh, for manual focusing, uh, particularly if you're using focus peaking and focus magnifier. Um, works a treat. I, I found it no problem whatsoever. Um, the zoom ring is lovely and smooth as well. Got a really nice smooth uh, action. It's very similar to the 18 to 105. I, I use that all the time. I love that particular lens. Um, and that's a very smooth focus. It hasn't got the power zoom uh, function that the 18 to 105 has. Um, but uh, but it's more compact. It's a lot more compact. You can see there, it's, it's, really, quite, it's really quite a small lens. Um, so there we go. That's my thoughts on the Sony uh, E-mount uh, Sony Zeiss 16 to 70. Um, if you do enjoy my channel, I hope you do, please hit the subscribe button and uh, like this video. It means a lot to me. It makes it well worthwhile doing more of them. So many thanks for watching. And oh, by the way, I'm filming this on the A7R2 
with the 16 to 35 FE lens. And then the shot, the camera that's picking up the close ups is my A5100 using an Atomos blade, Ninja blade for doing the recording. I've got the flame on the A7R2. And I've got my GoPro on the back here, just getting the wide shots. I was using my RX100 Mark IV, but it kept cutting out on me because it kept overheating. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm not using that now. Uh, well, I do use it, but not for this sort of thing. Um, so there we go. That's the uh, the Sony Zeiss, Sony Zeiss 16 to 70 um, F4 APS-C lens. Um, and thanks for watching. As I say, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and uh, uh, tune in to the next review. Thanks very much. Bye for now.